it's important to use the right tool for the right job, right? We've all heard that expression. Now I'd like to apply that to the use of footwear in all types of fitness. Now this would include things like running or cross training um, or maybe something more in between. Now the reason that it's important to wear the right shoe for the right job is because there's a form of specificity here. So at one extreme, it wouldn't make sense to wear soccer cleats on a basketball court, and it wouldn't make sense to run a marathon in a basketball shoe. So now the things that make that shoe specifically good at one thing might make it terrible at another. One thing I commonly see is everyone kind of gravitates toward a standard running shoe. Now, running shoe is great for running a 5K or even up to a marathon, but in the wrong context, if you try to squat or lift weights in a shoe like this, the cushioning that makes it very good for running might actually make it a little unstable for weightlifting. Now, in contrast, something like a trainer um, is very stiff. It does not have much cushion, which makes it a very good thing for lifting weights. It feels very stable. But if you tried to run a 5K in this, you would probably end up with some nasty shin pain, um, knee pain, and who knows else what. One other area I find this becomes a really nuanced issue is within the fitness community, um, say a gym setting where there's a combination of running and weightlifting, it becomes challenging to find the right footwear um, for that type of workout. Now, the alternative in that sense is finding a shoe that does a little bit of both. So it's not going to be necessarily great for long distance running, um, and it might not be the most ideal for um, maxing out on your squat. But something like this shoe that has a little bit of a curve and more of a firm cushioning allow it to be used more in interval settings where there might be a short running component but then it's still firm and sturdy enough to tolerate um, things like squats and lunges and other weightlifting activities. Now I know footwear can be a nuanced issue and depending on the type of activity you enjoy doing um, there are a multitude of different options. Now, what we talked through today was by no means exhaustive of the topic, um, but if you are struggling to do an activity you enjoy or are working through an injury, um, we would love to help you out. I would invite you to check out our website at truemotiontherapy.com where we have more information and resources, as well as the ability to schedule an appointment with one of our providers, and we would love to help you navigate um, your pain and injuries and get you back doing the things you love.